Oh god, we have a boss battle that we didn't even do in the last episode because it went on for like 25 minutes after we, after I at some point probably broke the episode. Oh <laughs> yeah, unless we had the longest episode of That's Sonic not, I'm not or gonna, Shadow the Hedgehog I'm not going to put people through a 37 minute episode of that. You're just going to break it down into two days so yeah. they have to sh sh suffer for uh, 48 exactly. hours. Exactly. My favorite pastime Doctor, is taking our worst moments and making them longer. And stretching them out. Yep. That's basically the Sonic Heroes like Let's Play in a nutshell really while is. I was playing. Oh, How man. do we stretch out uh, 30 seconds of terror to hours? <laughs> just go, oh, oh, oh. You oh the controls. Control. That's how so we do it. Is he coming or dying? I don't know what's... <laughs> Is he Both. coming or going? <laughs> Both at once, it's very uncomfortable. Oof. <laughs> Ouch, my body. I'm running out of fluids. Oh, God. Someone out there has a, has a thing for that. Fuck, <laughs> he blew up my gun. My gun. Oh, but you just took it off the... Did I? Which which bullet was the one that made you decide to actually fight us? Was it the fifteenth or the sixteenth bullet we shot directly? You into bitch! Uh, Sorry. Uh, what? Well, it turns out he wasn't going to be a nice guy. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! I shot a bullet. That that landed after the turret was destroyed. That's hilarious. Well, that was my favorite boss in the game. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. Omega's having a fucking party He's in the back there. Doing ballet in the background. Ah, damn. I forgot he was in this game. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It is very weird to think about the fact. I don't want to bring it back too much into the last two, three episodes worth of conversation, but mm -hmm. it's wild to think about the fact that it's been a year since the last Marvel movie came out. And we are at least four months from the next one yep. if they don't get pushed back Especially ba it was back when you could set your watch by when in the next Marvel movie yep. was coming out. Pretty regularly, right? Every so hour. February, Mar uh, February, May, July, November were pretty much the four main landing spots. Yep. July was frequently Spider-Man. Uh, we had... Okay. May was kind of the, the big tentpole movie of the year. And I'll then February, know. November, Who usually at least one of them was like a, a much more comedically oriented so movie. Yeah, the smaller offbeat ones. I mean, yeah. that's a, again, another thing that Marvel's done well is they don't change up the tone massively, but they yeah. go for different tones in different the movies. Comet? Yep. And like, I feel like Guardians was one of those where they were like, oh, what yeah. if this is, I mean, we, we both have talked about before how like yeah. we both fucking love Guardians. Absolutely. As like a movie and as like a group of, of superhero yeah, kind of people. Yeah, it's a really, it's one of those rare instances. And ironically, to kind of bring it loosely back to the comparison before, mm -hmm. is not only does Suicide Squad kind of fail to be the DC alternative to Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy successfully did what the Justice League movie couldn't do, which was introduce a bunch of new characters and have them make sense and have them feel like a like a disgruntled team. Become friends and start working together in the space of one movie. Yeah, one movie for five or more main characters, introducing them all and and just going with it. Do I need the vacuum gun already? God, I hated this level. Whoa. Oh no, there's a uh, thing you can lift up. Was there? Shit. I think there's like a big pillar down there. Oh no, we need the dark ending for this one. Oh, which piss, is what? Piss my balls. Uh, destroy the gun forces, all 50 of oh, them. Oh, which is once again kill every gun force. Oh, yep. great. And that's like these guys and shit. Okay, I have to like fucking robots. Oh, all right. We got it. It's like a big loopy thing. Like it's intentionally meant to be like you go around in circles a little bit. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me break this open. Anything good in here? A sword, samurai sword. Oh man. 
Ooh. Uh, multi missile launcher. This guy. Alright. <laughs> Pop. Pop goes the weasel. Two. Oh, there is a platform there. It just 15. raises so slowly. <clears throat> or maybe you had to kill that Probably, uh, gun yeah. robot. There we go. Thank you. Oh, God, this is going to be so fucking awful of a level. It's really funny because we just got through the slog of a find and kill all the enemies level. Yep. And I was kind of looking forward to being like, to oh, not right. doing that. Here's an episode where we can like kind of focus on the gameplay a bit more because it won't get stale. And it's like, well, now I hope you just Never don't mind. miss a single enemy. Yeah. Oh, a key. All right. That's nice. Uh, I'm going to grab this just in case. Like, I'm on the lookout. Ooh, Jesus, don't do that. Right, I'm trying, buddy. They're not called air saucers. They're called butter cars. Oh, yeah, the butter car. You know that. Come on. Can I really? There you go. We did it. We're good. Hooray. Oh, hi, Knuckles. <laughs> We have a habit of saying hello to Knuckles and hitting him with a vehicle yeah. in the same sentence. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you don't chuckle. Oops. Uh, taste my shoe buckles. Some point, some game designer was like, Oh, oh, no, no, sh why? Shit. Oh, come oh, yeah. on, man. At some point, some game designer was like, You know what the Shadow the Hedgehog game needs? Beyblades that you Ugh. can ride. Oh, good. I got to kill these guys again. Good. Game design. <laughs> bonk. Bonk. Game design. <laughs> Shut up, Knuckles. I don't like you. It's a lie. I like Knuckles just fine. But, oh my you know. god, you transformed Knuckles into Black Squid. Yeah, he got consumed by Cthulhuism. I'm riding on a big gear that is embedded into a platform that's not a gear. The texture artist had a lot of fun with this. Yeah, that must have been an interesting the job. The 3D actually. model artist did made a, a rect or not a rectangular, made a cylindrical primitive. I'd be willing to bet that. The artists probably had a blast with this game because they had so many fucking scenarios to do art for. And also, they like, there's no. How? Well, there's no consistent aesthetics in this game. Yeah. It's this is the magma level, and now we're in the city, and These now we're in uh, creepy oh. space. You, okay, no, it's actually down there, fine. Yeah. yeah. Like, every single level is kind of different. They don't really, yeah. like, share much between levels. It means they can get kind of creative between them, too. Sure, but it also probably was an immense amount of work. Yes, oh, guaranteed, yeah. Uh, Gun robots. Excuse me. Hello. Uh-oh, your butter car is already hurting. Holy shit, yeah, you're right. Ah. Gun soldiers. I'm just going to go this way. Where are you? <gasps> ah, no. What? Uh, I just sure. your butter car get injured when you bounce into things? I don't know. Maybe. Camera, buddy. Hey. Why? Where am I aiming? Why am I aiming left? You shut your fucking mouth, Black Doom. Shooting at Eric. Okay. Oh, tele oh wait, that's the teleport that we take. Oh my gosh, it's a gun soldier. Bye. Wow, only 40 more to go. Jesus 40 Christ. more to go. <laughs> Thankfully, we uh, are coming up on the room with 40 gun soldiers in it. That'd be amazing. It's, it's awesome. It's the gun convention? Yeah. It's the gun show. The gun show. Look out for the poison worms. Yeah. And the and balls. The <laughs> uh, the teleporting assholes. Who teleport onto poisonous liquids? Yeah, that doesn't seem safe or sanitary. No, it's not a good idea. Uh, Watch out for the space donut. I think he's on our side. Death to all who oppose me. Knock it off. He's I'm a hero. 
Oh, I got three of them. Anybody back here? No? Okay, cool. Good check. Wait, is that Goopy Gloop? No. Oh, it's just okay. There to be nice looking. For a second, I thought we could ride that. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Uh. Okay. This, like, this level makes me want to go back and play, like, Halo, Halo 2. Like, yeah, that I was about to say, I'm getting a Covenant vibe in a big way here. There is, there's, like, very few experiences in Halo better than being with a group of Marines or a group of AI guys and being like, all right, bros, Here we're going we go. into the alien ship and we don't it's stop till we get bitch. to the engine room. Yep. And like working your way through various rooms with your squad. And like the AI was good. They wouldn't just run ahead and get murked if they hadn't finished the room. But if you do a good job of killing everything, then they're like, all right, sick. Thank Here you, Master go. Chief. Let's yeah. move on. You're like, all right, man, let's go. Let's do this. I, it reminds me of like the gun soldiers, and like in eventual Halo games, there are multiple factions. So sometimes yeah. you show up to try to do something, but the other two factions also show up, and you're fighting them, and they're fighting you, and they're fighting them, and like it's it's you know an interesting clusterfuck. But it seems like the the gun soldiers and the space aliens in this level are just kind of separated. Yeah, like sometimes there's not a lot of interaction between, like, yeah. every once in a while you'll see them fighting, but it's not a meaningful fight. I don't even know if they can kill each other. Yeah, I don't know if they actually do damage to each other. It's just scripted swatting. Yeah, they just shoot bullets in their direction yeah. or, like, gesture at each other angrily. I need to I need to actually play Halo at some point. Like, I played a lot of multiplayer oh, in high school, but man, I never dude. played there's like, the main campaign. We need to do Halo Legendary campaigns all the way through. Can I... At least one, two, and three. Oh, that's what I'm And possibly here. ODST. Uh, and Halo Infinite just got some some stuff talked about it, didn't they? It's true. For uh, for the Xbox Games Showcase, <clears throat> I think. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't actually watched that much yet. about it. Yeah. I meant to do a reaction video for it, but it was like a super busy week, and I didn't know it was happening until it had already happened, and I was like, uh. So maybe there will be one of those. <coughs> oh, good. Oh, okay, there's I'm one right here. Like I'm like a fan of Halo, and I didn't really know that it was happening until you know my ow, new ow, video ow, game ow, news ow. aggregator of choice kind of put it what all together. What the fuck? What? Why Shit. wouldn't that hit him? I, it went underneath him. I don't yeah, know why. Like, it didn't how lock am I on. supposed to hit him? Is the uh, you know? I don't know. You had to use this uh, cannon that looks very much like a Covenant weapon. Yeah, but I can't take it with me. Is the problem? If only. I guess I'll take. This floating gun. Remember Buttercar. Floating minigun. Ow, ow. Boy, oing, oing. Let's see what we got here. Nope. Hey. It's so hard to aim. There we go. Okay, cool. Come on. You can do it. There we go. This is so obnoxious. This is incredibly clumsy. Yeah, man. So my point being, playing two-player co-op, yeah, is a, a super fun experience. Well, hey, you know what? If you want, then I mean, we can do that right now. I mean, not I right now. This, I can turn this off. No. But we do have, we now do have an Xbox set up, and we have an Xbox 360 downstairs, and an Xbox One already hooked up. So like, we could just do some Halo sometime. We could do the oh, let's play. Yes. How do you spell that exactly? That's O H H H H A A A A. Oh! Let's play. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's a space harrier. Let's play. <laughs> oh! That was weirdly in to stereo. Me, we almost harmonized that yeah. a little bit. It was strange. <laughs> we were just singing. Oh, in thirds. Oh. <laughs> That's real space harrier right there. Good lord! I think I missed some uh, some dudes up on the balconies here. So I'm, I'm just sure back. you did. Saving up half my conversation oh, oh, topics because we we're go. gonna have to be back to do this yeah. again at some point. I'm hoping and praying that I've been thorough enough to not need that, but God knows. Yeah, I mean, I've been keeping an eye out, except when I'm reminiscing about Halo. Yeah, and getting excited about. And then he's, and then you're, oh, 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 oh. yeah. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> can't O face and keep my eyes open at the same time. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not possible. And if it were, it'd be very so, creepy. Oh if boy! You, if you do, your head explodes. Same thing as like it's like a sneeze. Like 
with with minimal exception, people generally don't open keep their eyes open when they kiss, especially like passionately. Yes. I feel like keeping your eyes open while while climaxing is about on par in terms of disturbing. Like sure. if you look at someone and you know that they're finishing and they're just bug eyed like, yeah. <laughs> like, yep. That's <laughs> uncomfortable for every person involved. For anybody with a significant other out there, go up to them and make it obviously that you were going to kiss them. What? I don't know how that happened. Move. Okay. Oh, I didn't die. It's apparently not a, a pinchy. It's just a hurty. <laughs> it's a squinchy. Yes, go up to your significant other and make serious and intentional eye contact with them. Yeah. And then give them a kiss. But do not break eye contact with them or close your <laughs> eyes. And it'll be fun to see if they either, A, say, what are you doing, and try to push you away, or they accept the challenge. And, and then you stare have a back. kissing, staring contest. I've been on the receiving end, I think, once giving end of both of those. There you go. Just for shits and gigs. Yep. It, it's, a, a it's good for a laugh afterwards. At the time, everyone's kind of uncomfortable, though. Fun Valentine's Day plan. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. We're going out to dinner? Nope. We're aggressively uh, and uh, antagonistically kissing each other. Yep. So everyone try out the hashtag last Valentine's Day together <laughs> challenge. <laughs> the D-pad breakup challenge. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have we got to invent. Post your videos That's on gonna Instagram be, with the hashtag. Uh-oh. Yeah. Our full transition into into uh, into. Boomers is going to be the creation of just the worst idea for a challenge. Is be like, there we go. All the young kids are going to be doing all kinds of the last de the last date challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Take your wife out to dinner and then flip table on her. Can we please talk about the fact that we've been stuck with like the the anti millennial boomer humor for like. 20 years now, and it's just getting so old. It, honestly, the any like millennial jokes or like tropes or 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 like you know stereotypes that right. people mention about millennials really just like roll. Like, bitch, we got off kids in mortgages now, dude. Yeah. Like, who do you think that you're? If it, you, like these it, comics, are you complaining about Gen Z? If anything, it doesn't even. And register. they're not even your kids anymore. They're yeah. ours. Like, what the fuck? Oh, it's so weird. Oh, the older hard, generation. Like, the kid in the baseball cap saying, oh, is there an, uh, looking at a painting in a museum going, oh, where's the app for this? And like, wow, whoa, that's a great joke. Yeah. I don't, I've never seen that before. Uh, that's, that is comedy gold right there. Unbelievable. Holy How shit. How did you come up with it? This oh, is, a butter car. This is a, this is a regular fucking, like, Garfield fucking thing right here. George Holy shit. Carlin just came back to life. He just came himself to life. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Uh, the, it's the best way to come back from the dead. I think the most ridiculous thing about it is it's come literally back from the dead. all the same one joke. Yeah. Oh, there's the gun. Bye, gun. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Oh, worm. But yeah, it's lit every single time. It is the same joke, and it's, hi, where's the app for that? And it's like, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's the... Kudos, it's, you guys don't get smartphones, and you've decided to make that mean that we're dumb. It's it's like the antithesis of, like, the parents just don't understand. But it's like, kids yeah. are just always dumb, and they don't know how to do this or that. Kids are doing ridiculous things. <laughs> they don't make we sense. We never taught our kids to do this, and now they can't do it. Ha yeah. ha. Oh, my God, that's the most ridiculous one, is they're like, well, kids don't know how to do taxes. They and don't know how to write a check. And it's the response like, like, you didn't teach me. Yeah. <laughs> well... That said, I do know how to write. Yeah, checks. I know how to but write like, checks. Yeah. I balance a checkbook. Like, sure, but but like you know, that's a, this is a random example. Well, like then there's a thing where it's like, oh, uh, you kids were just raised on participation trophies. Like, bitch, you gave participation trophies. Yeah, and also, I don't. That have, was your idea. I don't have any participation trophies. Yeah, I don't know like, that people, I got any. People talk about like, oh, you just get medals for nothing. Like, if I got them. I threw them away. Yeah, I didn't give a shit about that. I don't have any participation trophies. Where are my participation yeah. trophies? Well, that's the thing, right? Like, the participation trophies came about because parents went like, "No, you, we, they need to, we can't." That is wait, there were more than fifty enemy. There was a dude that was in the distance. Wait, seriously? Yeah. What? Oh, Whatever. I don't even care, man. When it started to fade away, I just felt this like massive weight lift from my shoulders. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing is more embarrassing to a child than a parent who insists on them someone winning. 
either a treating treating them or their child like but they were a winner god damn it yep. or or like hey don't they deserve blah and it's like there's a difference between being like positive and being like hey you know what you tried mm-hmm. that was good We'll 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 try harder. We'll practice. We'll get better at it for next time, kind of thing. Versus yep. like, where's my goddamn award? And it's like, what? 